Cardinals are out in front here, three to one. Now into the box, Elo Jimenez, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Changed up on him, and he gets the inside corner for strike two. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here he comes again, 1-2. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. To the plate now, JT Real Muto. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1-0. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Alec Bone will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Alec From the stretch, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He enters here right at the 290 mark. Four home runs and 22 RBIs. A one pitch on its way. Fouled off. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Standing in now, Willie Castro. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. It could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Real Muto is off a of first with two away. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. And that misses two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Soto is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Devin Williams gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Josh Bell. Now here's the first offering. Count one and oh. Well. The two oh. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. That base hit was screaming off the bat and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Plate now, Leori Garcia, as he hits one on a line to left field. And that's in there, base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning. He will lead off double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up and just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. Set here it comes as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one Williams has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today at least among bullpen arms his strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof this guy was tailor made Matty V to be a relief pitcher he comes out of the bullpen guns a blazing two pitches that he can strike you out with and more importantly he comes out with an attitude and that attitude is nasty and he gets a lot of swings and misses on to first and they turn the double play doesn't come double much pitcher, easier than 31. that Taylor made six four three double play Berger. and an easy one to turn Andrew Stevenson will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at third first pitch of the A.B. on its way as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters and it's strike one he's working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one the execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. Hey what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back to back singles to the first two batters. To short. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Nationals on top, three to one. Tanner Rainey has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth.
set for the start of the inning and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Joaquin Dias. He comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power on power. My money's on the pitcher. Up high. Two and one now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. The count now at two and two. So a full count now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ball one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. A three one count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. He'll try it again three and two and the slider misses low and away here. It's ball four and I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Next it'll be Bryce Harper. We discussed earlier how he was one of the league's best power bats and he's lived up to that reputation with a blast earlier in this game. And you can just tell how confident he is in the box hunting his pitch not coming outside the zone or expanding it. I would expect him to put another good swing on the ball right here as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. Javier Baez, who represents the possible go ahead run here, waits in the on deck circle. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters, but he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. So here is Javier Baez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And now the first pitch. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. And it's one and one. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. 
Lindor over at second. Harper is over at first with one away. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1 pitch. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And gone. And the lead has changed here in the eighth. So a three run blast to left center. And it's now a one run ball game. The crowd was hoping and praying he'd go down. Then he quiets him in a hurry with one swing of the bat. And more importantly than quieting the crowd, it gives his guys the lead. That's what we call timely production by a big-time power hitter. Shane Green gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Into the box, Rowdy Tellez, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. The 1-1 misses for the second ball. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Last to center field. No doubt about this one. Back to back home runs as that one's way out of here. So it's a solo shot to dead center. 19th home run for him on the season, and it's now 5 to 3. And you know who's the happiest about that insurance run right now? The guys in the bullpen. They can now breathe a little easier knowing they have a bigger cushion to work with to close this one out. At the plate, Eloy Jimenez as he'll take a look at ball one. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. That's too high, ball two. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Four runs here in this half inning. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. 
Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. But you know what? Sometimes result is only thing that matters. So now to the plate JT Real Muto and there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out nothing in one. Still only one out in the inning. A ball and a strike. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate and the count moves to one and two now. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Bryson Stott will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. From the belt, kicks and deals. Back up the middle. A step on second for the force, and that'll do it. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Philadelphia is out in front here, five to three. Diego Castillo is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Chavez. Stepping in once again is Julian Chavez. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And there's one down now. Digging in will be Luis Garcia. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's a 333 hitter. Now the first pitch. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Two well count the pitch down low and the plot thickens here three and oh Castillo has over 40 innings on his line so far and through those innings he's worked to a whip under 1.20 league average is around 1.3 so that's a respectable number three and one one out nobody on. May have swung at ball four that time and a little late to boot. Full count now. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Off the bat, that had soft base hit written all over it. But a nice snag there by the infielder on that soft liner that could have been a potential base hit. Juan Soto to the plate now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Watch 
Bases are empty here with two men out. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Nationals gone in order. They're still down 5-3. Jeremy Jeffress enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Leading off the inning, it'll be Willie Castro trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Ninth oh, yeah. inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal on a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. To the plate now, Joaquin Dias. As he'll take a look at ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The one and zero delivery that swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. The one-one home misses ball two. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Fouled off. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Castro leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Missed low and inside with it, one and one.
And he fouls this one off. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Here comes the one two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Robles is in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Salvador. It's the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Too high. 1 and 2. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. Here's another one, two. Fouled away. Now another one, two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batting, third base. Striding in now for the Nats, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Grounded out in his last at-bat. First delivery to him. Right side, scooped up. And he'll take this on to first, and they're down to their final out, two away. The first baseman. Now at the plate, Josh Bell. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Roberto Ozuna takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. First pitch coming. Here it is. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first is in time to get him. And the Phillies have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Philadelphia posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Devin Williams earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.